Excited is not quite the right word. You know, I've been working on this project for about five years, so I'm very gratified <laughs> that it's uh, that it's finished. Now, it took a lot of work on my part and a lot of uh, other number of other people. Around uh, 2007, 2008, we started talking about it. Molecular cloning third edition was then uh, over five years old, and so much had changed. Principally driven uh, by um, the ready availability of genome sequences and the development of genomics. This was something that was largely missing from uh, the last version of molecular cloning and it's something uh, that coupled with all of the developments in sequencing technologies uh, have really changed the way most molecular biologists uh, go about um, uh, their experiments, their approaches, and, and the problems they tackle. It preserves its tradition like for its um, reliability, accuracy, and the clarity, but it updates with the most current strategies and approaches um, such as um, RNA interference, um, DNA methylations, uh, epigenetic analysis, uh, real-time PCR and et cetera. And so it gives you the most updated uh, techniques to perform your experiment. So besides, um, it also provides uh, theoretical and historical information about all the techniques. And um, uh, it also provides information about troubleshooting your experimental problems. It was a tremendous achievement for Michael Green uh, to be chosen as uh, editor for the latest edition of Molecular Cloning and, and really uh, demonstrates his prominence uh, in molecular biology. Uh, Michael uh, has assembled a great collaborative group, group of uh, authors and contributors to the manual. And uh, one of the uh, additional uh, uh, great uh, bits of recognition for UMass Medical School is the fact that many of those contributors are from our faculty. Drs. Marianne Wilhout, uh, Yop Decker, uh, Guangping Gao, Miguel Estevez, Ziping Wang, uh, Phil Zaymour, and Ali Rando. A major portion of this book uh, is written by individuals who write particular chapters in their area of expertise. And, uh, you know, and, play, and one of the reasons I agreed to do the project is when I looked around my colleagues here at UMass, uh, I saw that many of the principal investigators here at UMass would be ideal.